Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode in my Super Bowl series at Restaurant Recipe Recreations. And if you'd like to learn how to recreate your favorite signature dishes from the most popular restaurants, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too. That way you'll be notified of all of my upcoming episodes. And in this video today, I'm going to teach you how to recreate the Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing Wings. And just in time for Sunday, February 7th, where my Tampa Bay Buccaneers are fighting for their life against Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay at the Raymond James Stadium. Okay, maybe fighting for their life is a bit of an overstatement, but I'm a little bit anxious about the upcoming Super Bowl. And if you're not rooting for the Chiefs, I would appreciate it if you send a little love down to Tampa Bay on February 7th. Buffalo Wild Wings, otherwise referred to as B-dubs, is your typical American bar and grill, and they specialize, of course, in buffalo wings. The chain was founded in 1982 by two guys who moved to Ohio from the Buffalo, New York area, and obviously were missing their buffalo wings, so they started their own restaurant in Ohio, and the rest is history. They are well known for having over 20 wing sauces, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do the Asian Zing Wings. And the Asian Zing sauce is kind of this sweet and spicy combination with garlic chili paste, soy sauce, rice vinegar, some ginger, and it's fantastic. And so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started showing you how to recreate the B-dubs Asian Zing Wings. Did I just really say further ado? I did, sorry. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to be using my air fryer to cook my wings. But if you don't happen to have an air fryer, no worries. These can be done in your oven as well. What you'll want to do if you're using your oven is to set your oven at 375. Go ahead and put your chicken wings on a lined cookie sheet and start with about 25 minutes. Give them a check at that point and then just see if they're at your desired crispiness. If they're done, pull them out. If they're not, let them go for another few minutes. And I'm just going to start by lining my air fryer tray with one layer of the wings. I have here drumettes and the flats. I happen to be kind of a flat gal. <laughs> really? Boy, I'm just racking up the points on this one, aren't I? <laughs> what I meant to say was I happen to prefer the flats, but I'm sure you got that. And so the quantities that I will show you for the Asian Zing sauce are perfect for about three pounds. If you're wanting to make more chicken wings, then go ahead and double up on the quantities for the Asian Zing sauce. The point in laying these out on your sheet tray, whether you're using the air fryer or the oven, is to make sure that none of the drumettes or the wings are overlapped so that it gives it an opportunity for everything to get crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the air fryer and then I'm gonna show you how to make the Asian Zing sauce. So we're gonna start with five teaspoons of the rice vinegar. And then to that, we're going to add four teaspoons of cornstarch. And then mix that thoroughly until all of the cornstarch is dissolved. So set that off to the side. And now in a small saucepan and on a low heat, we're going to add a half of a cup of just regular Caro light corn syrup. Next, I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of the Hoi Fong chili garlic sauce. one tablespoon of Kikkoman soy sauce. Next up is a half of a teaspoon of powdered and ground ginger, and another half of a teaspoon of ground garlic powder, one teaspoon of pure sesame oil, and then the juice of a half of a fresh lemon. Now just make sure that you mix all of these ingredients around, and on a very low heat setting, you wanna bring this mixture to a simmer and then have it reduced by about one quarter. Okay, now that you've gotten your zing sauce to reduce a little bit and it becomes a nice glazed consistency, and then you're going to add the rice vinegar and the cornstarch into your zing sauce. Let it go on a low heat for a little bit longer because you want to give that rice vinegar an opportunity to cook off some of that vinegar flavor. And you also want this sauce to get to the consistency of a glaze. Okay, you know that the sauce is ready when you put a spoon in it and it sticks to the back of the spoon. Okay, my chicken wings were in the air fryer for about 20 minutes and then I flipped them all over so that both sides could get nice and crispy and I let them go for about another five minutes. Transfer your chicken wings into a large mixing bowl and then pour your Asian zinc sauce all over the chicken wings. And then just toss your chicken wings in the sauce until each chicken wing is well coated. And that's it, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this episode on the Asian Zing Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, <laughs> which is so fun to say. <laughs> 
It really is actually. Now because these chicken wings are done in an Asian soy glaze, I wouldn't recommend serving them with the traditional blue cheese or ranch dressing because I just don't really think that those flavor profiles would go well together. But you know what? To each his own. If that's your jam, by all means, go ahead and do that. And make sure you check out my playlist on Super Bowl foods for other great ideas on foods that you can serve during the big game on February 7th, where Tom Brady and my Buccaneers beat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, a day that will go down in history. <laughs> well, we're hoping anyways. But until I see you again, everybody, have an awesome, awesome day. Enjoy your Super Bowl. Go Bucks. Cheers. Love y'all. Do I have sauce all over my face? I have sauce all over my face. I can see it in my viewfinder.